watch out, ladies and gentlemen. Izzy's in a foul mood today. You I betcha I am. I don't know why he's in a foul mood. Maybe it's spring fever. I think it is. Some kind of fever. Maybe. Need a little time off. Maybe someone took away his bacon today. I no, I had some. Oh, yeah, I, I did. I took your last piece. By the way, well, you probably saved my life. Maybe that last piece would have done it. No, it's the lousy election, and I election. being stuck under these walls all day. I need a little time off. If it's because of the election? It was a lousy election. Oh, well, you know. Things just didn't go well. Maybe we can have someone else do it next year. All right, Let's well. Let's flip a coin on it. All right, well, let me slap myself back into submission here. Yeah, I got a quarter. Hello, and welcome to your old news update. I'm Izzy Fitz. And I'm Bud Driscoll. Yeah, yeah. 21, 41, and a quarter. And heads up. Yeah, let's shout out to our sponsors. We still love you, we even do. though I'm in a bad mood. Eagle Crest Retirement Community, 1501 East Magnolia. That's right. Headley's Clothing, 1829 South Still Line. Still fits Izzy. That's right, in Smoky Hill Museum, 211. Last time, they got a new display up going up. A yeah, top, block let's top coming. the headlines from yesteryear. Let's do a little Steve Hawley action. All right, remember Steve? April 26, 1990, wasn't that long ago. And this is out of Cape Canaveral, though. But after years of delay and a last-minute snag, the Hubble Space Telescope was freed from the shuttle Discovery on Wednesday and glinting in the sunlight, Drifted into orbit on its 15-year search for the new world. Oh, yeah, boy. Mission specialist Steve Hawley, who we know is a Salina lad. He's a, quite a lad, too. Released Hubble from the end of the shuttle's 50-foot-long mechanical arm after a delay in getting one of the telescope's solar wings unfurled. Was it glinting, too? So can we say he's a space cadet? He is. He is. Good old Steve. May 12, 1990. No, wait. Mm-hmm. Oh, go yeah. ahead. Go May ahead. 12. May 12. Slim and stretch. Cower by the back wall like 7th grade boys at a junior high dance. But these boys are 13 feet tall. Whoa. The two two-year-old giraffes arrived at Rolling Hills Ranch at 2 a.m. Thursday. Giraffes. That's that way. Giraffes. In an extra tall trailer. The first day we got them, they stood back in the corner like statues, said Kim Barkley who helps care for the giraffes and other exotic animals at Charlie Walker's Ranch, West Slime. That's just south of Headville, by the way. And then they turned that into... Still Rolling, open. They turned that into Rolling Hills Zoo, didn't they? Yeah. Well, yep. so there you go. History lesson, boys yep. and girls. And wildlife adventure. Oh, well, remember the old newspaper headline, Man Bites Dog? Yeah. Well, this is, you know, a variation on that. I might just do that when I get home. I got three ornery dogs. Well, I think they'll do, they may do what happened to this land. <laughs> Listen, May 2nd, 1965. Well, now it's happened in Salina. A little boy bit a dog. Ha <laughs> ha. Freddie's about two years old, and he's been staying with his grandmother, Mrs. Peggy Richardson, 1119 North 3rd. His parents live in Minneapolis. Freddie's been pretty, uh, been pretty what? Been well, he's been pretty with his aunt's part German Shepherd dog. In fact, Freddie is curled up with the pooch to take naps. They've been the best of friends. But Friday afternoon, Freddie's friendship ended. All over. He was playing with the dog when he bit the dog's ear. Now he's in St. John's Hospital because the dog bit him back. I think he got what is deserved. I think Old so. Oh, Freddie. You can't bite a dog. You can go bite your dogs. I think they'll bite back. I think maybe I better be nice to him. Better be nice. Give him a April 29th. Bit. April 29th, 1940. All right. The police headquarters reads, one caught and one got away as a result of a lucrative liquor raid at the home of Leland Still. Leland Steele. Leland Steele at his still. Oh. And, no, 813 North 9th, Saturday night. The hall included nearly 50 pints of liquor, Whoa. and Mrs. Leland Steele, who was out on $250 bond, $250 bond today, scheduled for a trial on a charge of possession and sale. Oh, Officers wow. found Mrs. Steele and five or six pints huh. when they knocked on the door of the Steele home Saturday night. It's a steel Leaving home. one officer behind, they returned with the catch to the station. Yeah, it always ends up at the station. Doesn't That's it? right. Soon after, the waiting officer was rewarded when Mr. Steele drove into his driveway with nearly two cases in burlap bags, which he started to unload. Seeing the blue-coated receptionist, 
Steele departed on urgent business elsewhere, leaving a shiny new 1940 car and the merchandise. Which also ended he up He got caught with the booze. Well, you know what? Another party at downtown. Mm-hmm. There's always big parties going on at those police stations. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, we're going to go way back now to April 30th, 1890. When Been a while ago. Salina Daily Republican. And here's a bit of Old West. Secretary Proctor has evolved out of his own head a scheme which is eminently picturesque. He proposes to recruit for service in the regular army a regiment of 1,000 Indians. He will have them officered by West Point graduates, but the subordinate places are going to be filled with Indians who have been educated in the schools east. A gallant cavalry regiment these young red men would make. None braver, no better riders anywhere. They would be great use on the Indian frontier. The semi-wild life would suit them. Hmm. It is only one more step towards breaking them to civilization. You know, huh. Imagine that. One drawback would be the heredity ten the hereditary tendency of the red soldiers to scalp a conquered enemy, black, red, or white. Well, are we doing some stereotyping here? Right? I guess we're profiling. We are profiling. That was the beginning of profiling in this country. One more step to civilization. As Which they, also makes me As mad. if they didn't have a Take civilization that. in the old West. Read more about the way things used to be in the look back section of Monday's Salina Journal. And maybe a cavalry. Maybe Izzy will get off his high horse. Yeah, maybe I'll take some, some happy pills. Yeah, maybe he needs some happy pills. But until then, we'll see you yesterday.